guys, gonna give you a uh, tip on how to get like secure your heel hook grip um, with, with your with your right arm. Uh, and two different scenarios how when, when I change how I do this. Okay, so first of all, when you've actually got the knee line caught, this is just like a mistake. I see people, you know, they dig the heel well, like so, at the elbow, uh, pulling the toes towards the ribs, but they, they just sit it here. Okay, here it's okay. I don't want the, I'm not doing it in the armpit, okay? This is a common mistake people make, they put it into the armpit. It looks like it goes to the armpit because I drop my elbow in and then I shrug my shoulder. I'm trying to get maximum like rotation here. I shrug my shoulder like this, so my, my shoulder blade lifts up and my forearm lifts as well. Yes, yeah, so you see that rotates the, the heel. So it looks like I'm pulling it up to my armpit, but I'm not, I'm pinching it in my, by my side and then I lift the whole structure up like that but it's very different to putting the toes in the armpit and Carl can tell you this is way looser as way a looser yeah thanks very <laughs> thanks for affirming me <laughs> all right uh now this is different because what's the main thing i'm worried about? i've got his knee line the main thing i'm worried about is him slipping his heel so this is very good at like it stays tight it's very hard to slip the heel like that when i don't have the knee line so if i catch the heel here and i don't have the knee line I don't want to exp I'm not trying to rotate, but there's no point rotating the, the heel yet because I don't have ability to, to finish. If I, in fact, the way he gets out is he suck, turns down and sucks his knee free this way, okay? So if I do that same, if you catch it here and try and do that same action, it's actually helping him free his knee. When I catch the heel, when the knee line is free, all, my, all I'm trying to do is like put a, like a real jam here. So when he, like I'm jamming this, this heel, so when he tries to suck it back, it gets stuck like that. So my, my grip, it can be like this, sometimes it's a false grip, but the force is going straight towards my ribs and I close off on that with my, my chest as well. So I haven't lifted that, but now if my car goes to free his knee, it is stuck because this gets jammed. Very different, if I try and do this, he's actually gonna free it, okay? So we approach it quite differently. Here, come up. This is good for finishing. This is good for securing the grip before he frees his knee. Then when I pull the knee in, I change it, okay? Right. You can check out two hours of leg lock controls and finishes and all the principles behind that in the, the leg lock anth anthology, 50-50, plus another eight hours of content on positional and uh, transitions and entries. I hope you enjoy this video. So you know you can use the code Lachlan10 and save 10% on any of my instructionals through BGJ Fanatics. And you can use the code Lachlan to save 30% on the grapplers guide. If you use these links, it also helps me out. All right, so I'm gonna be running a jiu-jitsu training camp in Hamilton Island on the 5th till the 11th of May. We're gonna be covering leg locks. There's a bunch of different packages available, some of them with all accommodation, some of them just training only. Um, but what I should say is that Hamilton Island is absolute paradise um, and you can see the Great Barrier Reef. See it before it goes away, it's one of the wonders of the world and you definitely so follow the link below to find out more.